5 seconds to go start the learned solicitor general submitted that if the decision in rajendra singh rana's case which inter alia dealt with the question relating to the speaker's powers to decide a question in respect of paragraph 4 of the 10th schedule independent of any application under paragraph 6 thereof is to be made applicable in the facts of this case the same would be contrary to the decision of this court in raja soap factory versus sp sharma the learned solicitor general also made special reference to the decision of this court in mayawati versus markandeya chand and others wherein it was inter alia held that if the order of the speaker disqualifying a member was to be set aside the matter had to go back to the speaker for a fresh decision since it was not the function of this court to substitute itself in place of the speaker and decide the question which had arisen in the case in addition to his aforesaid submissions the learned solicitor general also submitted that various substantial questions of law in regard to the interpretation of the constitution had arisen in the facts of the present case namely whether paragraph 4 of the 10th schedule to the constitution read as a whole contemplates that when at least two thirds of the members of the legislature party agree to a merger between one political party and another only then there is a deemed merger of one original political party with another whether in view of the difference in language between paragraphs 3 and 4 of the 10th schedule a deemed merger is the only thing to be looked at as opposed to a split which must be in an original political party cumulatively with a group consisting of not less than one third of the members of the legislature party whether post merger those who do not accept the merger are subject to the anti defection law prescribed in the 10th schedule whether there is a conflict between the five judge benches in rajendra singh rana versus swami prasad morya as against supreme court advocate on record association case scc 409 what is the status of an unattached member in either house of parliament or in the state legislature whether in view of article 212 speaker is subject to the jurisdiction of court as such according to the learned solicitor general the aforesaid questions which involved interpretation of the constitution were required to be decided by a bench of not less than 5 judges in view of the constitutional mandate in article 145 of the constitution before a final decision was taken in these appeals appearing for shri kuldeep bisnoi the respondent number 1 in the appeals preferred by the speaker haryana vidhan sabha and five mlas against whom disqualification proceedings were pending mr n gupta 
लर्नेड सीनियर एडवोकेट एट द वेरी थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ इज आर्ग्यूमेंट्स सबमिटेड दैट दिस वॉज अ केस विच क्लियरली डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड हाउ द प्रोसेस ऑफ लॉ वॉज बींग मिस एप्लाइड एंड मिस यूज बाय द स्पीकर ऑफ द हरियाणा विधानसभा सो एज टू डिफीट द वेरी परपज एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द एंटी डिफेक्शन लो एज कंटेन्ड इन द टेंथ शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मिस्टर गुप्ता एम्फासाइज इन ग्रेट डिटेल द मैनर इन विच द स्पीकर है डेफर्ड द हियरिंग ऑफ द डिसक्वालिफिकेशन पटिशन फाइल्ड बाय द रिस्पोंडेंट नंबर वन अगेंस्ट द फाइव एम एल एज ऑन वन प्रोटेक्सट और द अदर डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट द एप्लीकेशन फॉर डिसक्वालिफिकेशन अंडर पैराग्राफ फोर ऑफ द टेंथ शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैड बीन मेड एज फार बैक एज ऑन नाइन्थ दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड नाइन मिस्टर गुप्ता सबमिटेड दैट टिल टुडे द सेट डिसक्वालिफिकेशन एप्लीकेशन आर पेंडिंग डिसीजन बिफोर द स्पीकर एंड सिंस सच डिले इन द डिसक्वालिफिकेशन प्रोसीडिंग्स वॉज अगेंस्ट द वेरी ग्रेन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द टेन शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द डिविजन बेंच ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट हैड नो अदर ऑप्शन बट टू पास अप्रोप्रिएट ऑर्डर्स बाय इन्वोकिंग जूरिस्डिक्शन अंडर ऑर्डर फोर्टी वन रूल थर्टी थ्री ऑफ द कोड ऑफ सिविल प्रोसीजर इन इफेक्ट The entire burden of Mr Gupta's submissions was directed against the prejudice caused to the respondent number 1 on account of the inaction on the part of the speaker in disposing of the pending disqualification petitions within a reasonable time Mr Gupta sought to justify the impugned order passed by the division bench of the high court on the ground that on account of the deliberate delay on the part of the speaker in allowing the five dissident mlas from continuing to function as members of the house despite their violation the high court in exercise of its appellate powers under order 41 gave interim direction so as to ensure that the petitioner before the speaker was non suited on account hence the speaker not to delay the disqualification of the said 5 mlas stop